Hi, darling. Come give me a hug. It's been a while since I've seen you. Well, I guess it hasn't been that long, but it feels a lot longer. Oh, I mean, honestly, the heat is just really getting to me. I'm hoping my daddy turns the AC on soon, but you know him, he'll do anything to save a buck. Yeah, both ways, honestly. But you have so much to catch me up on. You had that day with that city boy. You have to tell me all about that. Yeah. Will you tell me all about it while I get you ready? I'm so excited for Stampede. Oh my goodness, and it's going to be so much fun. They've got Zach Bryan playing. Oh, you know we, You know my obsession I have with him. Oh my goodness. I love him almost as much as Morgan Wallen, but Zach Bryan honestly has my heart. I mean, what's your favorite song by him? Oh, that one is a classic. I mean, I love Blue, but I mean, there's so many great ones. I, c I know the words to basically all of them. Oh yeah, I'm obsessed. Oh, so good. But I am also excited to just eat the yummy food and most importantly, line dance. It's been so long since you and I have danced together. I know Footloose is our signature song. We gotta get out there. I know, I'm so excited. I'm gonna twirl you all around that dance floor. Way better than any city boy ever could. Maybe not as good as a country boy, but I'll try my dang best. <laughs> Let's get you ready then. You're not wearing any makeup, right? Okay, good. Now, you, I mean, I love this dress, but I know you said you want to borrow an outfit. Okay, I picked out for you. I don't know, you can put it on now or later. It's up to you, darling. I have um this little top that I thought would be cute on you. It's like a little, like, tie top. It's completely backless, so, you know, it might be a little bit frisky. Definitely couldn't wear this to church. Oh, my goodness. Oh no, we'll have to have you wear something out of the house because if my daddy sees you in this, he'll actually throw a fit. You might have to wear something like this over top. You think I'm gonna walk past my daddy wearing this crop top? Are you kidding me? No, I'm gonna wear a sweater walking out. I mean, he'll be too focused on the game to even notice that we're wearing sweaters in this heat. Okay, what do you think? It like, looks like this. It's got a little rose in the middle kind of cute and then it's backless you like it i think it's real sweet okay so i'll pick that out for you and then you can wear those boots with it they'll match the brown actually quite nice and then i got this little uh little skirt for you little jean skirt i mean how perfect is this yeah you like it i think it's just adorable i think it'll be the perfect outfit <gasps> Oh my goodness, you hear that? Thank Lord, thank the Lord. Oh my goodness, my daddy turned on the AC. We won't be sweating. Cute, right? Okay. Adorable. I know the weather's just been crazy. We're real worried about the crops, I'm not gonna lie. It has not been a good season. No, it's just been way too hot. And all them fires, ugh, it's been terrible. We're not gonna think about that. We're gonna try and stay positive, okay? So you can put on that outfit. Do you wanna put it on now or after I get you ready? I mean, the top doesn't have to go over your head. We just tie it, so it's not like it's gonna mess up the look. Okay, we'll do it after then. All right, sweets, let's get going on the makeup because I do wanna get there kinda early because I do have something to tell you. Well, you know me, I don't like keeping a secret from you, but I messaged Jackson and we've been talking again and let's just say, I mean, I think I'm ruffling his feathers and I don't know, I think it's going quite good. Yeah. Well, he invited me over for lemonade on the porch, which I, I thought was kind of cute which is really not like him. I mean, he's more of a let's go to a country bar and I wanna see you dance. I wanna spin you around and spin you right around, right into my truck and make out with you in the parking lot type thing. You know, Jackson, he's kind of a bad boy. 
but he was real polite. He picked me up, opened my door, of course, and he had my favorite songs playing already. He, like, um, had it all set up. It was really cute, and then walked up on the porch. He had a little, like, picnic and, like, lemonade. It was, like, absolutely adorable. Yeah. Yeah, and he even surprised me. Um, he got me a new pair of boots. Yeah. I'm gonna put on sunscreen while I talk to you, darling. We'll put sunscreen on you. I already got some on. But, I mean, I was just so flustered. I was like, you're making me feel pretty as a peach. I'm just blushing. Alright, I'm like, I'm redder than my daddy after a day out on the farm. <laughs> I was so just, I mean, I was so flustered. And then anyways, we were having a real good time, and he ended up kissing me. Let's just say, I think he's been working, I mean, I don't really want to think about him working on his kissing skills with other gals, but I mean, it was probably one of the best kisses I've ever had in my life. Yeah, well, I know I haven't had too many, but I mean, I saw fireworks. Yeah, it was like the 4th of July. It was just perfect. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if we're gonna date or anything like that. I don't want to get my hopes up, but yeah. oh, it was just it, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Yeah. So, anyways, that's why I want to get to Stampede kind of early because he said he'll meet me at the gate and uh, he'll show us around a little bit. He's got a, a couple little like friends that are working the boots who can get us a free beer. Yeah, I'm real excited. It'll be so much fun, trust me. Okay. Um, while I'm doing the rest of your makeup, I gave you my boy updates, my country boy updates. You have to tell me about this city boy. What happened? How was your day? You never told me what happened. I mean, I was worried about you, at least to have your low, your location, you know. But I was a little bit worried about you, darling. Oh my goodness, no. Tell me everything. I won't tell my daddy. Come on, it's me. I'm just gonna, you know what, can we just do concealer, like, in a couple spots? I think you're gonna sweat off some foundation, I think. Yeah, I don't think we want to do that. No way. Let me just put a little bit over there, down here. Okay, so he picks you up. Oh my goodness, was he driving one of those, like, electric robot cars? No, he was not. Did the door just open right for you? I, I can't. I knew it. Could you imagine? Oh, I wish I was there. I would have been hollering. Oh. Oh my goodness. So he didn't even get out. Red flag number one. Oh. Yikes. So, we have a real calf on our hands. Cute. Uh, oh, I'm going to blend that out with this little sponge. Okay, so, where did he take you for dinner? I knew he was going to take you to a fancy spot. I mean, he got a nice dinner out of it. At least, did you order yeah, something nice? Did you order something like a lady, or did you do your usual and get ribs? You got ribs. How were they? Yeah, well, I bet they weren't as good. You didn't go to a cookout. You didn't go to a tailgate, darling. You went to some fancy restaurant. They probably put, like, caviar on those ribs. I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah. Well, what was the conversation like? I mean, clearly we know he's not husband material. I mean, if he can't even open your door, how he's going to raise a kid, I don't know. Okay. But how was the conversation at least? Was he nice? Did he ask you questions about yourself? Like, do you like living on a farm? Uh, what's it like growing up in the country? Anything like that? What your favorite color is? Anything. Talked about himself the whole time, my goodness. He sounds like quite the piece of work. Well, I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have just been there for you. 
Wait, who was that again? Did you? Was that the other boy who took you out to that pond and then fell in trying to catch that catfish? What a story that was, though. That was so funny. Oh, you told me that. I got such a belly ache from laughing. Oh my goodness, that was just hilarious. You know, funny enough, I did tell my daddy about that one, and he actually laughed too. He was having a hoot. So anyways, uh, before you get into this story, was he rude to you at all? Do I need to tell, you know, did he pull out the shotgun or anything? I mean, I could do it myself. Sure, okay. You just let me know, darling. I mean, if he says anything to you that, you know, ain't so polite or just, you know, did he try to make a move on you, try to take you up to one of those fancy penthouse apartments? Okay, good. Well, at least he was a gentleman in that respect, but I mean, bare minimum, really. Well, bare minimum would have been opening your door, and he didn't even do that. Okay, so, new boy, tell me about him. Where, where, which one's this again? Did he meet him at, did he meet him at school? Did he meet him on the first day of Stampede? Are you kidding me? No way. You're joking. So he was the waiter at, at your date with this city boy. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna actually have a fit. You're gonna make my heck fly right off. Oh mean, I, I mean, I'm more shocked than when a Canadian comes down south and asks for iced tea. <laughs> okay, so. So it was the waiter. So was he like hitting on you during your date with this, with the boy or what happened? No. Oh my goodness. How do you think he got your number? Oh, so tell me he's been talking to you. Okay. We're gonna do a bit of contour by the way. Just a little bit. Go like this, sweetie. Keep telling me after. I'm just gonna do your contour first, okay? Make y'all all bronzy. Not that you need it. You're already so tan from being out. Have you been riding lately? Well, I haven't wanted to, but I need a new saddle. Yeah, but they're so expensive nowadays. I mean, uh, so I think I'm gonna go get one next week. Yeah. No, I've been honestly just like relaxing and stuff. You know, I've been, <laughs> I haven't really been relaxing that much because I've been trying to see Jackson, so. You know me, uh, my lips are getting a little bit of a workout, what can I say? Don't tell daddy. And Lord up there, he don't, he don't listen to this. In my room, everything's secret. I mean, he loves me no matter what, so. We don't have to worry about that. I go to church on Sundays, come on. One kiss never hurt anybody. Okay, maybe a few more kisses. Okay, so. So, you guys have been talking? Okay. So, where he works at that big fancy restaurant. Why does he work there instead of in town? Yeah, I guess the tips would be good. Okay. So, are you guys gonna go out on a date then, or what do you think is gonna happen? We'll just do a bit of blush, by the way. Yeah, I think you should see him in person. I mean, well, I mean, you met him in person, but you know what I mean. You have to know how he acts on a date. But I will say, I like the initiative. I appreciate that. Okay. Oh, definitely. He is more excited than a buck at Stampede, honestly. <laughs> Should I say a cowboy at Stampede? My goodness. They are just so eager. We are gonna have to be careful. Well, sometimes they get all handsy and it's like, have some manners, okay? Is this your first time seeing a sexy woman? I mean, probably we are pretty damn cute. If I do say so myself. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to talk about her. Bless her heart. She has got a lot of work to do, yeah. 
Well, I mean, just on herself. I mean, the poor, the poor thing has gone through a lot. Well, mentally and physically, yeah. She heard she fell off her horse last year. Yeah, now she walks with the limp, the poor thing. I mean, it is a little bit of karma, though. She kind of deserves it. Yeah, well, a couple years ago, she called me a tramp for wearing a, a short dress, and I was like, really offended by that. It was a Saturday night, and I was going out dancing. If I want to wear a short dress, I should be able to wear a short dress. I mean, I wouldn't have been surprised if she told my daddy. I did get grounded later that week, though, so that might have, that might add up, actually, now that I'm calculating that, although I was never really too good at math. Anyways. Where, what, what part of my, of your makeup was it doing? Right, okay. Let's, yeah, we'll move to the eyebrows, because that blush is all, like, sparkly anyway, so you don't even need any highlighter. Okay, let's do your eyebrows, and we're just gonna put a little bit of gel in them, because your hat's gonna rub off any eyebrows and stuff anyways. Yeah, well, your hat's even bigger than mine. Yeah, but, I mean, I don't get along with her, you know that. Well, actually, I don't even know if I've told you this, but did you know that she was Jackson's elementary school sweetheart? Yeah. I mean, when he told me that, I, I just about threw a fit. No, he told me that a lot, a lack. Probably one of the first times we were hanging out together. Because I think he was still like into her. But I'm cheating on him more times than my daddy has asked me to change my outfit. Which is a saying a lot. Because I do like me some short shorts. But let's just say she's kissed a lot of cowboys. Oh yeah. I mean, Jackson, I mean, he's no saint. Don't get me wrong. But he doesn't deserve that. No one deserves that. Well, I mean, probably. He'd probably be able to taste the other boy's lips when he's kissing her, which uh, just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Gross, right? Do you want... Oh, I ended up getting this new palette. It finally came in the mail. It's from uh, Too Faced. It's called The Natural Lust. It's actually really pretty. It's got all these colors in it. Oh, did I show the, this one before? Well, anyways. It finally arrived, and I'm obsessed with it, but... Do you want to use any of these colors? I think the blue one might be a bit much with the top, if I'm being honest. Do you, what about, let's do something like maybe this one? Or I like these pinky ones right here, these two. Yeah, those look real nice on you. Okay. I'm gonna use the matte one and the crease. I've been watching some of those um, YouTube videos, you know? Seeing how to do makeup better. Close your eyes. And I'm learning so many things. Oh yeah, it's crazy all the techniques. I mean, I'm not too good, but I'm trying so that I can give you some real nice makeup looks. Well, I mean, if I get together with Jackson, we're going to have to go on a double date. So we're going to have to find you a nice country boy. All right, this waiter. So when are you going to see him next? No. Why would they be catering a booth there? So you're going to be seeing him, but he, he's going to be working? Oh my goodness. We're going to have to like skip by his booth and give, you, give him like a little wink. Oh, that's just going to make his heart flutter. Okay. Here, close your eyes again. i got to blend this out a bit more. Oh, that's exciting. So I'm actually going to get to see him in person. Not just hear about him. Well, I mean, if he's anything like you've said, I think I'm going to love him. No, don't worry. I'm not like her. I wouldn't steal your boy. Oh, could you imagine? That's the last thing I'd do to you. Some cows just don't know how to keep their paws to themselves. I mean, they've got their nasty little hooves and everything. Okay, we're... This is so fun. We're going to put this sparkly color on your lid. It's called Flirty Pop, which is exactly what you need to be tonight with your boy. From afar, because he's working. We can't get him fired or whatnot. He still needs to make a quick buck, so he can take you out to a nice dinner. Okay, close your eyes. Good. Good. 
Michael Jackson. I think nowadays he's working on the oil rigs. Yeah, I think because he makes real good money out there. I mean, it's not the safest of jobs, but I mean, he makes he makes good money, and I can't complain. Yeah, he used to get me real nice necklaces and stuff, and I mean, he just got me new boots, so. I mean, that's, it treats me like a little country princess. I love it. That's actually really pretty. Okay, keep your eyes closed. I'm just gonna blend the two colors together. Just like that. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, I really love this. This will really look good with the brown shirt, too. Okay, perfect. sweat are you? It is so warm. Oh my goodness. I feel like we're in the barn. I know. Well, my daddy's trying to save money because like I said, it's been such a bad year with the crops. So he doesn't want to spend too much, which I mean, I understand, but it's, it's hard to be at home. That's what I say. I say, Dad, I just need to get some fresh air because it's so warm in here. So he lets me out, take take his truck out sometimes, and I go, surprise Jackson. We just hung out probably, I'd say, four or five times recently, but it's been real fun. Yeah. Okay. Now it's time to do your mascara. So, let me just curl your lashes. Good. Other eye. Good. Okay. And then I got this new mascara. It's called Milk Mirage Mascara. Maybe it has some real dairy milk in it, who knows? Okay. You know, I bet you that city boy would have thought that you got chocolate milk from brown cows. <laughs> I swear. Can you imagine? Oh, I would have been on the ground. Okay, look at my lips and blink when I tell you to. Let me put this down though so I don't spill it everywhere. Okay. Blink. you're pretty as a peach. Your eyes are so black. They stand out so much with this eyeshadow color. I love He's going to be able to spot you right through the crowd. You're going to make him so nervous, he's probably going to drop one of those fancy plates. Ugh, we can't have that. That probably costs more than, well, more than what we can afford. Okay, then for your lips, I thought we could use this really pretty neutral, like, pinky color. It's really nice. It's like a lip mousse. Smells like buttercup, too. Like a buttercup. Uh, maybe even like butterscotch candy. Oh, it smells so dang good. I'm obsessed. Okay. Ready, bud. I don't know, I'm 
still learning. <laughs> okay. Now your makeup is done and you look phenomenal. Uh, also, I'm going to put some of this all-nighter spray so that it stays no matter how many times I spin you around and dip you, okay? While we're dancing. So I'll cover your eyes and spray this. I think you need a little bit more. Good. It's really refreshing, hey? I oh, feel so nice. If only we could have a sprinkler in my bedroom, right? Honestly, that's what we need. Okay. Now, in terms of your hair, I'll take it out of this bun, and what do you want me to do? Do you want some loose curls like I've got? Two little braids? Oh, that'll be really cute. Let me grab my comb. Did you bring an extra elastic? Okay, good. Oh, you got one on your wrist. Perfect. Okay, let me take this bun out. Okay, good. Oh, your hair is actually really soft. Did you do like a conditioner treatment on it or something last night? some of those girls like you do use the horse shampoo on their hair but I mean apparently it works pretty good I don't know I haven't tried it but maybe we could one day I don't know I'd be a little bit skeptical okay what food do you think you're gonna get I don't know I'm really craving just like I don't know I really want a big just a barrel of pop. I'm like so thirsty. It's so warm. But I would also love just like a nice cheeseburger. Oh, that'd be yummy. Chicken wings. Oh, I just want to eat it all. Hot dog. Funnel cake. Oh my goodness, I hope they have funnel cake. Yeah, I used to always get funnel cake when I was little. Yeah. I miss going to the fair. Ever since mama passed, daddy doesn't love doing that stuff, but I like doing it. Reminds me of her. Keeps her close, you know. Yeah. Okay, good. Hmm. Oh, I've been alright, you know. I'm really trying to stay positive. Hmm. Yeah, no, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about food. Oh, yeah. I mean, you love ribs, so I could have guessed that. But do you think we're gonna get something sweet like funnel cake or anything? Oh yeah, like a slushy. Oh, that'll be delicious. Okay, that'll be good. Now, do you want just like it split down the middle? I mean, it won't really matter because you're wearing a hat anyways. Okay, I'll just split down the middle so that it's even to do braids. Okay, let me just split it down the middle like that. Good, just like that. Okay. And I'll start with this side. Okay. Let's just... You just want kind of like loose braids. Like really just... Yeah, like... Okay, really cutesy. Got it. Okay, we'll just do really loose cutesy braids. Because you just want them kind of like from here down. Okay, easy peasy. Honestly, it makes my job super easy. Okay. See? Just like that, right? Okay, cute. I like that. Can I have you that elastic off your wrist, sweets? Thank you. Okay. Do this side now. Do you want me to pull a couple pieces out so it frames your face just like this? Yeah, okay. I'll do that after this side. Okay. Right here. Okay, good. I'm so hungry and I'm so excited, but I'm mostly so excited to see Zach Brown in concert. Oh, I've been dying to see him. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Good. Okay. Now let's just pull a couple pieces out. Actually, I'll use this little tail comb to pull a couple pieces out like that. Cute. You look so cool. I love that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do 
Did you bring your hat? Oh, you left it at the front door? Okay. Well, we'll put your hat on after. Uh, and you want to get changed now, and then we can head out? Oh, yeah, I mean, um, I wasn't really planning on bringing a purse. I was just planning on putting, like, anything in my pocket, because I'm wearing our jean shorts. But, lucky for you, I think this skirt has pockets. Mm-hmm, let me see. Too many things here. I really need to clean my room. It's even messier than the barn. Okay. Yeah, you got a couple little pockets to put like anything if you want in there. Like, I don't know. A couple cards or something like cash, your tickets. Yeah, I think that'll work real nice. I don't think you should bring a purse because just in case we want to like go all out dancing and you lose it. Or, I mean, some of those cowboys can't be trusted. They're thieves. I think you just wear this. This is cute enough. Plus, with the hat and everything, this is an adorable little outfit. Okay. And then, while you're getting changed, I'm going to touch up my makeup. Actually, do you think I should use the same lipstick you're using? It's kind of cute. Hmm. Here. I'll just put it on now and you can tell me what you think. Because if you don't like it, I'll take it off. See, the thing is, I'm wearing red, so I can't wear anything that's, like, too noticeable, you know? Just a little bit. What do you think? Do you think that looks good? Yeah? Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you, darling. I will leave you to it then to go get changed. And in the meantime, I will make sure my boots are all looking nice, ready to go, okay? No, trust me, you look absolutely gorgeous, okay? You look beautiful. Pretty as a peach, you're gonna be. I mean, Zach Bryan himself might fall for you, but he's mine. I call dibs. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes then, and we'll head out.